timing okay to get warmed up uh to get started and then we're gonna work on um attacking off the catch okay so kind of how we need to prep ourselves when that ball is in the air and we're about to receive the pass okay so first thing is we're gonna go pick up timing pick up timing is very important once you when you guys are getting into your pull up jumpers okay so kind of shots on the dribble so first if I'm right-handed and I'm going to my right, if I'm shooting off the dribble, I want to pick the ball up on my second step. You always want to pick it up on your second step, okay? So my second step when I'm going to my right should be my right step, okay? So I'm going one, two, and I'm gonna pick that ball up slightly before my right foot hits. So all we're gonna do right now is we're gonna stand stationary, okay? Be in a little athletic stance, I'm gonna go Left, right, I'm gonna dribble on my left step. Pick up slightly before my right foot hits. If you notice, I have this movement right here. So I'm dribbling, and my left hand is coming to the ball, and I'm getting straight into my shot. So I'm right here, and I'm getting into it right there. Okay, so we're working on our pickup time. I know a lot of kids or a lot of players have problems, and they, they pick the ball up with two hands. So they pick it up like this with two. A couple of things that does is it eliminates uh, flow, your flow into your jumper, and then it limits your options, okay? So we're gonna go right here, pick up, come back, pick up, pick up right here. All right, we're gonna rep that out 15 times going to the right, and then we'll hold it, and I'll explain going to the left side. All right, left, right, pick it up on that right step. Okay, so now for right-handed shooters, it's a little bit different when we go to the left, okay? And it'll be vice versa for left-handed shooters if they go to the right, okay? But I think all of us in here right now are right-handed shooters, so when we go to the left, okay? Getting downhill or footwork, okay? Defenders on our hip should always be one, two. All right, that's gonna allow us to create some stop separation, okay? So make sure if we're getting downhill and you have a defender on your hip, footwork is always one, Two, okay, that's gonna create stop separation. So we're going to our left, it's going to be right, left. I pick up on my second step. This time my hand gets underneath the ball, okay? So I'm right here, right, left, hand goes underneath the ball, okay? So my left hand is going to bring the ball to my right hand, okay? And that right hand goes underneath. So I'm right here, boom, underneath, and I'm getting straight into my shot. Right, left, up, okay? Notice how I pick the ball up slightly before that second foot hits, which is my left foot. Okay, watch here. Boom, pick up, and I'm straight up. Again, up, okay? So we're gonna rep that out 15 times. Up, okay? All right, let's go. Okay. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna work on our footwork as we're receiving the ball, so kind of off the catch. Okay, so first thing we always wanna look for when we catch the ball is we always wanna be ready to shoot it, okay? If we can't shoot it, then we want to be ready to attack. Okay, if we can't attack, then we want to pass the ball. We never want to hold the ball for long periods of time. Okay, so as this ball is in the air, I'm reading where my defender's at. If I have space, I'm knocking it down. Okay, if that defender is starting to get closer and I might not be able to get a good shot off, I want to be able to get downhill quick. Okay, quick. If the defender's running at me, I have the advantage. Okay, so we don't want to hold the ball. If we hold the ball, defender recovers. So I catch it, we're going to slam the ball to ourselves. This is going to simulate our catch. We're going to go to the right first. Okay, this is called a split catch. So I slam it, split my feet. So I'm kind of hopping, landing on two feet. Ball side foot comes forward, or um, whatever direction we're attacking in, that foot usually comes forward. So I'm going to go right foot forward, since we're going to go to the right, split, I'm going to go left, right, pull up. Okay, just like we just worked on. Picking it up on that second step. Split catch, left, right, pull. Okay. Again, split catch, left, right, pull. Bring it back. Split catch on top, left, right, pull. Okay, remember we're using that split catch because we know that we are not going to shoot the ball. We're getting down here right away. Alright, we're going to rip that out. We're going to go to the right side 10 times. And then when we go to the left, it's going to be left foot comes forward, right, left. Right hand goes under the ball and we're getting into our shot. Okay, rep that out 10 times on each side. Let's go. Now we're 
gonna go split catch, okay? I slam the ball to myself, going to the right foot, so the right foot's gonna be forward. My stance is wide, I'm going to rip right away. As soon as I catch, I'm gone. Left, right behind the back. Once we go behind the back, okay, so what we're saying is, as soon as we get into our split catch, defender is trying to get back in front. We're going left step hard, right step behind the back. We're trying to create some stop separation. As our defender's running, once we stop, the momentum carries them forward. Okay, so now we have that separation. So we're gonna go left, right behind the back. We're gonna replace our feet back under our hips. So we're gonna hop. Okay, so I'm getting left, right, hop, replace our feet under our hips, drop our hips, and then we're shot. Okay, one more time. Right, hop, shot. Split touch, left, right, hop, shot. Notice how I'm dropping my hips after I hop. Okay, so my, my hips drop, which is gonna allow me to flow straight into my shot. Alright, we're the same thing going to the left. I'm going split catch, right, left, pop, get my shot. Alright, we're gonna go 10 reps on each side. Okay, so 20 reps go split catch into a two dribble pull up. Okay, so I'm gonna slam the ball to myself, going to the right first. I slam it, split catch. Left, right, oops, you guys can't see that, my bad. Okay, I'm gonna go to the right first. So my forward should be left, right, left, right. Okay, every time I dribble, my dribble should happen almost in sync with my left foot hitting the ground, almost. Okay, so I'll split catch, left, right, left, right, pull up, okay? Remember our timing, okay? We pick the ball up on our second step, okay? So, once we get into our second left right, we would pick it up slightly before our second foot hits, which would, which would be our right foot. So I'm right here, split catch, left right, left right, pull. Okay, notice my timing. I'm not picking it up with two hands. I'm coming right here, bringing that left hand to the ball. As soon as that right foot hits, we want to elevate two. You guys all got that? Okay. We are going to go through that. We'll go 10 times to the right, okay? So okay, now when we go to the left, we split catch, left foot should be forward on the catch. We're gonna go right foot. Every time our right foot hits the ground, that's about the same time our dribble should hit. Okay, our dribble should slightly hit before that right foot hits. Okay, so I'm split catch, right, left, right, left, pull. Okay, with my pickup, my right hand is going to go under the ball. Okay, so my left hand will bring my left hand. The, my left hand will bring the ball to my right hand, and that should help me go underneath the ball and get straight up into my pull up. Okay, so again, I'm back. I'm right, left, right, left, pull up. No hopping, no galloping, no skipping. We're getting straight into the pull up. Two dribbles. Right, left, right, left, pull. All right. Okay, we're gonna go 10 reps of that too. 